गाइस वेलकम टू मैक मिश्रा चैनल आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम गैप वी आर अगेन स्टार्टिंग विथ अनदर सीरीज ऑफ करोजन सो विल नॉल नाट टक मच टाइम एंड विल स्टार्ट विथ अमाइन करोजन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अमाइन इज अ क्लीनिंग एजेंट इज अ सॉलमेंट विच इज यूज इन अप्रॉक्स एवरी इंडस्ट्री starting from petrochemical refinery then fertilizers so the function of a mine is to clean gases so which gases it cleans the a mine cleans acid gases what do you mean by acid gases acid gases are basically co2 and h2s so carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide are acid gases which need to be removed from the gas to be cleaned otherwise it will cause corrosion because acid gases means the gas which in presence of water or in liquid form uh, it causes corrosion due to formation of the acid so basically amine is our friend which uh, needs to remove which removes the gases acid gases from my system so what are amines amines are like three types of amine primary amine secondary amine and tertiary amine you can see here so one carbon with nh2 two carbon two carbon uh, with nh nh and this is tertiary means three carbon with one nitrogen okay so let's proceed now the basic understanding amine corrosion so basically first you know i have told amine is our friend so amine is not itself corrosive but during amine treatment and uh, amine processing various units it absorbs some acid gases and some degradable products amine degrades uh, over a period of time and it forms some products like heat stable amine salts which we call hsas then another other amine degradation project like biocene oxalate and formate salts so these contaminants are responsible for corrosiveness of amine so this uh, amine can cause two types of corrosion so first is amine stress corrosion cracking and second is amine corrosion amine stress corrosion cracking we will see later but here now we will see amine corrosion so amine corrosion is a type of localized corrosion that is caused primarily on carbon steels in amine treating and amine used plants so amine is uh, this amine is corrosive for carbon steel but stainless steel and nickel alloys are much more resistant and the as i told the corrosion is not caused by amine itself it is caused by dissolved acid gases like co2 and h2s then heat stable salts and other contaminants and now there are uh, in any plant you will listen rich amine and lean amine or lean and semi lean amines so refinery petrochemical plants have methodology of rich amine and lean amine but in fertilizer plants we say lean and semi lean so lean means where the these contaminants acid gases and all is very minimum so that is lean amine and what is rich or semi lean amine rich amine is when this acid uh, this amine absorb all the acid gases and uh, contaminants from uh, the system then it becomes rich amine so contaminated amine is a rich amine and pure amine is a lean amine okay so what are the critical factors which are responsible for amine corrosion so first factor is type of amine so we have seen three types of amine primary secondary and tertiary so primary amine is more aggressive amine 
causing more corrosion secondary are uh, little less and tertiary are much more aggressive to corrosion so here there are three uh, four amines which are used across the industry so corrosiveness decreases from top to bottom so mea monoethanol amine mea we used to absorb only co2 in petrochemicals so mea is highly uh, highly uh, corrosive in nature so it is used less then dga diglycol amine then dipa diisopropylene amine then dea diethanol amine then last is methyl diethanol amine so mda is used very frequently across the industry so first critical factor which is responsible for amine corrosion is type of amine then obviously the contaminants which is uh, available in amine so what are the contaminants contaminants are histable salts uh, like uh, uh, biocin oxalate formate ac uh, acetate salts and then the dissolved acid gases which is absorbed co2 and h2s so the contaminants are major responsible for this if contaminant percent this histable salts and percentage increase above 2 percent then these are more corrosive for carbon steel now third my critical factor is temperature if my temperature in the system is more than 105 then we are much more susceptible and we are in range of corrosion so that uh, we see and fourth and last critical factor which is very important factor is velocity so velocity in my amine system velocity of the process stream for rich amine it should be maximum 2 meter per second so the corrosion rates will be in acceptable range but if it increases with above 2 meter per second th there will be a severe corrosion localized corrosion caused by amines then for lean amines this limit is 6 meter per second because lean amine has less contaminants so the uh, velocity uh, can be slightly more 6 meter per second for carbon steels these both limits are for carbon steels only now the units where amine this amine corrosion occurs so basically simple rule is where we use amine for uh, absorbing this acid gases all the units may have the amine corrosion so basically amine treating units ATUs crude in refinery crude croker FCC hydrogen reforming hydro processing tail gas units then in fertilizer plants there is a CO2 removal section in ammonia plant so there also we are using MDA so there are also chances of this amine corrosion so we need to regularly inspect our system we need to identify whether my system is affected from this right so this is how this uh, mine corrosion is looks like this is a very localized corrosion sometimes it attacks only the weld see you see this photograph is only attacked on the weld so hope you have understood very well the amine corrosion and you have it has helped you a lot so this will help you very much so this is a lecture series on corrosion which will be continued if you like please subscribe my channel and also you can share your views which video next you like on corrosion thank you thank you very much